Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about brand new makeup launches that have either just come out or are coming out very, very soon. In these videos, I like to share my opinions on the products, to talk a little tea on these, but I also like to share some like helpful information on when you can get the products, how much you can get them for, where you can get them, all of that stuff. If you would like to check out more of my videos that I've done like this, um, they're all kind of called new makeup releases, new makeup launches, and they're in a playlist called What's New in Makeup. So I will have that playlist linked in the cards up there and in the description box down below. Today, we're gonna be talking about the new ABH Luminous Foundation. We're gonna talk about the new ColourPop Strawberry Palette, the new Lunar Beauty Strawberry Palette, we have lots to cover. I think this is the most products that I have tried to fit in one video like ever So lots to talk about. I want to go ahead and get into it But first I do want to say that all of the images that are gonna pop up on the screen Pretty much every single bit of information I'm using in today's video came from at Trimmy one an Instagram account She's really great. She keeps saying, you know, she is always uploading So if you haven't heard of her you probably have I definitely recommend checking her out I will have her link in the description box down below so you can check out her Instagram page there like I said Said, lots to talk about we need to go ahead and jump on into it so let's start off today's video talking about the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette this one is the Leo palette and this one retails for $14 I'm pretty sure all the other ones do as well these typically come with nine eyeshadow and highlighter pan palettes so nine total nine shades I honestly, since I dropped the first one at the beginning of the year, I was kind of bored with it already. I didn't feel like the colors really represented that sign that they started off with, and each one, they just are kind of releasing really random shades. So as you can tell with this particular palette, this is like their sixth or seventh one, I think, this palette is filled with very neutral shades, and I don't really think they fit Leo, when I think of Leo, these are not the colors I think of, and from what I can tell from the comments, anyone who was a Leo didn't really agree with the color assortment either, and these are described as a bold assortment of dramatic shades, which I was kind of surprised when I saw that because I was like, these are very neutral, and that's coming from me. I love neutrals. I can't get enough of them. But this looks very just bland to me. I don't think that you could even call this dramatic at all. There's not one shade that I'm looking at in this palette, and I'm like, wow, this is really interesting and unique. It's just kind of bland, and I think that this whole collection has kind of like run its course. Like, I'm so surprised that they've continued with this. I know they kind of can't stop in the middle, but like, I can't, I really can't think these are selling very well. I know I'm starting off kind of very like harsh and blunt, but that's just my whole opinion on it. If you are interested in this or any of the other products that are already available, they will be linked in the description box down below. So this one is available now. You can go ahead and get it if you want to, but for me, it's definitely a pass. So out of all of the launches that I'm talking about today, I think this next one is the one people are most excited for to drop. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This product I'm kind of excited for. Anastasia typically is known for their, you know, eyeshadows and their eyebrow products, but their complexion products, I know they have like their stick foundation and some blushes that people really like, but they're not really known for that. So I feel like this is kind of a new territory for them and I'm excited for it. This foundation is one fluid ounce of product and you're getting it for $38, which I think is a pretty good deal. I mean, foundation foundations at the drugstore and, you know, higher end foundations typically have about one fluid ounce of product. So that is going to be standard amount. And the good thing about it is the price seems reasonable compared to the other, you know, higher end foundations that are, you know, $40, $45, $50 and upwards of that. Like this seems like a pretty good deal. And this is supposed to be, you know, a luminous foundation. It's going to have medium coverage, which I really like because, you know, in the daytime, I want something more medium or light, but at night, sometimes I like medium or full coverage. So this seems like a pretty good in-between that I wouldn't really have to, like, change my foundation or redo my makeup when I'm going out at night after a long day of school or something like that. And it's going to have a natural glowy finish rather than, like, a completely radiant finish. You know, you're going to have that radiant look, but it's not going to be something over the top. It's going to be more subtle, which I definitely do like. I was a little nervous when I saw luminous in the name I was like this may be too much for me I love this is not another matte foundation coming out because I do appreciate matte foundations I do have some that I use but I don't need another I feel like matte foundations are like all of the rage right now that's all that brands are coming out with and I wanted something more you know radiant more glowy and I'm really glad that Anastasia is coming out with this and it seems really up my alley of course I haven't tried it but it makes me really want to so there are 50 shades total in this foundation I always like to kind of touch on that just because even though this is something that doesn't really affect me and I don't really have the I don't know I don't want to say credibility but I can't really speak on this just because I do have fair skin I don't typically find a problem when I'm looking for my foundation or concealer shade 
but these shades do seem to be pretty equally distributed in each category and I pretty much harp on this in every single one of these videos I do but I think it's really important to touch on you know shade range things because brands are not going to change if they're not being called out on it and Anastasia from my perspective seems to do a pretty good job on this I mean the amount of shades that they have in the fair category they seem to have the same amount in the deep category which is something I really like this is supposed to be a product that's good for sensitive skin I believe that it was like a dermatologist tested it's not supposed to clog your pores it was clinically tested and it doesn't have gluten products it's fragrance free and it's a vegan product so I think that this is going to be something with you know really good ingredients and that'll probably work well for my skin which I've been having a lot of issues lately my skin has definitely become way more sensitive than before which makes me more comfortable and you know willing to try this product the next product is another launch from ABH and don't get me wrong I am excited about it but I do kind of have a gripe with this product and the pricing on it this is the new ABH loose powder foundation why did I say foundation it's just a loose powder but it retails for $36 and to me that's a little pricey for a even a higher end you know powder I think for luxury that's kind of reasonable but for like a high-end product I'm just not sure like in comparison to you know like the Too Faced powder which is only like $30 I don't know, this seems a little bit steep, especially when you compare it to the foundation, which is only $2 more at $38. And I'm typically willing to pay a lot more for a foundation just because I feel like, you know, I'm not, you know, in the makeup industry, I don't make, you know, makeup. But I feel like it's probably more difficult to make a foundation that's going to work for skin than a powder. I just don't know. That's my opinion. I could be completely crazy in this thought that $38 seems a little bit pricey for whatever this product is. But you guys let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hear, like, your thoughts on it. But... This does look like a really good product, and I do kind of have high hopes for it, so we'll see. Maybe I will try it. This is going to be a vegan product, and it's also gluten-free, just like the foundation. These, I think the foundations and the powders will both be launching on Ulta and Anastasia's website on August 4th, and they'll be in stores on August 15th. So they are going to be five shades of this powder. They're going to have the translucent version. They're going to have the vanilla, the banana, the deep peach, and the golden orange. So they do have a lot of different shades, so hopefully, you know, it'll cater to a lot of different skin tones, but we'll just have to wait and see until this product actually comes out. Next up, we have a launch from, of course, ColourPop. Would it even be a new makeup release video if ColourPop didn't have a launch or two in here? But the first one is the ColourPop Strawberry Shake Palette. This is going to retail for $12 just like their other nine pan monochromatic palettes this is the first one that I've been incredibly drawn to like I really want to get it you know don't get me wrong the other ones look really pretty but I just I've been having trouble justifying like ooh, do I really need a palette of nine yellow eyeshadows or nine orange eyeshadows which kind of brings me to the point of that they've come out with a lot of these monochromatic palettes very recently you know they've been coming out with them I think since the beginning of the year which I think is great I think these are like really cool and they seem to be like good quality don't get me wrong but They've been coming out with so many releases in general, let alone these monochromatic palettes. I mean, they literally, like, a couple days ago came out with the Orangey Glad palette just before this one. So, I was a little shocked to see another one come out, but this one does look really pretty. In this collection, there's also going to be some blushes. Like, they're going to have the blush sticks, the powder blushes, jelly mud shadows, I think, like, the ultra glossy lips. They're going to be coming out with a lot more in this collection, but really the main thing I wanted to talk about is the eyeshadow palette, because to me, that looks really pretty. And that seems to be kind of the theme. Like I said, I'm about to talk about the Lunar Beauty uh, Strawberry palette as well. But this whole, whole kind of like light pink pinky I don't know like this type of pink I don't know quite how to describe the shade but this seems kind of like the new thing like the pinky reds are going to be the new thing I think especially as we're transitioning from summer to fall so now on to another strawberry palette this is actually one that launched first this is Manny MUA's brand Lunar Beauty this is the strawberry dreams palette which retails for $48 so a little bit of a uh, pricier palette compared to the ColourPop one I find it extremely interesting that these launch like within like two or three days of each other just because there's no way that ColourPop could have piggybacked off like Manny's idea in just three days like put it through production had it ready to go like I don't think that's what happened at all I think this just was a mere coincidence and I think that's just sometimes what happens like these brands come up with these ideas way in advance kind of at the same time and this is just what happens and I think you know a lot of people are like this is unfair to Manny blah 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 I don't really think it is I think that you know whatever palette's better whatever palette gets the best reviews and hopefully the reviews that are going to come out about these palettes are going to be honest whatever one does will get the most purchases and that's the one that kind of should so this palette like I said $48 for 15 shadows which these are supposed to have like a strawberry scent which is a little intriguing to me but like then again I just ever since the whole drama getting thing 
with, you know, Manny and everything. I think it kind of just showed his true colors. And I know that he's, you know, apparently working on and improving himself. But, like, for me, I don't know. Like, I just haven't been watching his channel. I unsubscribed. And I'm not really interested in anything that he's come out from Lunar Beauty. Even this, this collection that he's coming out with will have, like, a lip gloss and some liquid lipsticks that I think you can get in a bundle. And I think you there's also a bundle where you can get, like, everything in the collection. But, you know, I'm just not really interested. If you want to check it out, I will have a link below linked below because it is already available but I don't know that's just kind of my two cents on this launch. The next product is one from M Cosmetics and this is another YouTube brand it is Michelle Fawn who's I don't think on YouTube anymore she's definitely not a beauty YouTuber anymore but she did come out with her brand shortly after she left YouTube and that's M Cosmetics. These are the color drops which are a serum blush. The packaging on these are really cool so these are going to retail for $25. I like love the packaging I was like this is so unique so different and they're coming out with four shades, or they have four shades because they're already available now. But they have like Rose Milk, which I think is like a blushy pink. Then they have like Sunset Sky, which is like their corally shade. Soft Amethyst, which is like a berry rosy shade, I think. And then they have Pink Nectar, which is their watermelon pink. So I thought instantly when I saw these, I was like, oh, these are really pretty. Like, I want to get these. I've been kind of into liquid cream blushes a little bit recently. So like I could kind of just so I like the price and everything but then I was watching before I had a chance to pick them up I was watching a video from Lauren May Beauty which I've been loving recently I've been subscribed to her channel for a long time but recently I've just been watching her videos non-stop and she did a new makeup release video she didn't actually pick these up but she was just kind of talking about them like I was and she mentioned something that kind of stuck with me which was like these blushes there's no shade in there that she would actually use like she loves the light peach the light mauves which I do too especially for blushes like those are my two shades that are like my go-to's love the peaches for you know spring in summer and then I love the mobs for like fall and winter and there's not either of those really shades in this collection like none of the shades are enough for me to be like oh yeah like that's what I would use I, I could justify getting that so after thinking about her opinion on it I really resonated with that and I was like I don't think I'm gonna be getting these but I do think that they're probably gonna be really good so if you want to check them out like I said before I will have it linked down below because you can go ahead and get them so now on to a palette from Natasha Denona that I feel like kind of is similar to that theme that we were talking about before with these strawberry palettes from ColourPop and Lunar Beauty. It kind of has those pinky reds and the salmon and the coral kind of effect to it, which I think is going to be kind of like a color story that we're going to be seeing a lot. And this is the coral palette from Natasha Denona. It's going to reach out for $48 because this is one of her palettes that has five full-size shadows in it, and these are going to be mattes and shimmers. So a lot of people have been talking about how they wish Natasha Denona would be more consistent with the amount of product that they're getting in each palette and the pricing because it is kind of all over the place but I kind of like it. I like that you have the opportunity to get you know if you're not really like I don't really want to spend $50 on a palette for just five shadows you could get the $25 ones which are like mini size shadows and then she has like this size that this is the coral palette it's like with the five full size shadows for $48 and then she has like her $65 palettes and then her like 128 ones where you're getting way more product and I like how she's not really jipping you if you know what I mean like she's not trying to do a money grab or anything like you know how much you're getting in each palette it's very clear how much product that you're not like when you're getting the $25 palette you're not thinking that you're getting anywhere near the amount of product that you would get in the $128 palette so I really appreciate that from her and her brand and I like that she's trying to accommodate more people and the amount of product and the price that they're willing to pay so this is going to be available I can't remember when I'm getting this video up I think it'll be available by the time this video goes live but it comes out August 3rd so if it's available by the time this video goes live it will be linked down below but if not it won't so we have one last product from ABH this is the liquid liner which is going to retail for $18 I know that they have like two other liners right now but this one really kind of intrigues me like especially the purple packaging I was kind of like wow this looks cool um but this is going to be a matte black waterproof eyeliner and it has like a felt tip applicator which I do really like the main like claim to fame with this product is they're saying that it's supposed to be like really easy to use like because of the felt tip the way that it's like bendable and it's like customizable whether you want it to be like a super precise line or you want to do like a really cool design with it you can I don't know though I feel like we'll see how this goes I kind of have a weird feeling that this is not going to work as well as they're saying it is I don't know why that's just kind of my intuition but I think part of it comes from this is going to be a water-based gel formula and I think that water-based products as well as this applicator may be the water in like this liner I feel like will make it more difficult to do intricate designs and to create a really really precise thin line I think this may be more difficult than they're advertising for it to be I don't know though that's just my intuition but this is supposed to be like shaken up before you use it so that could help with it I don't know you know what type of formula they use to make these but it is again a vegan and cruelty free product which 
I think it's a really great option. I think that Anastasia really does try and accommodate so many different people with, you know, their gluten-free products and, you know, their vegan products and just being cruelty-free and all of this stuff that they do to try and accommodate a lot of people, I really do appreciate. And I think as a brand as a whole, I think they're doing a really good job. Um, I'm pretty sure they were doing that before it was, you know, the brand was passed over to Norvina, Anastasia's daughter, but they've been doing a really good job. These will be available August 6th online, August 15th in stores, and then August 16th internationally. So get ready for these. I think these are going to be really like all of the rage when they come out. All right, guys, that about wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up. That kind of indicates to me you want to see more of these. If you have a product in particular that's coming out really soon that I mentioned, or even if I didn't mention it, comment it down below. I would love to hear what you guys are looking at picking up or, you know, anything that really stuck out to you, even if it's for like a bad thing. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it and I love all of your support. If you haven't checked out my giveaway, I do have a makeup giveaway up on my channel right now that is open. I will have that video linked down below and in the cards up there if you want to check it out. I have all the information on how to enter in that video as well as all of the things that you will be winning if you enter. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a great couple of days until I post my next one and I will see you then. Bye!